Carl, Track 13 News. I'm gonna show you how to properly solder today. And I've got a jig here. Uh, very, very useful when you are soldering uh, connectors. So the first thing I do is I will scrub uh, my new connectors with alcohol and not the 70, 30 you get from the grocery store, the 99% alcohol. I will use a clean toothbrush and then I will use a paper towel or a, I do have some lint free paper cloths but I was out so I want to point out a couple things before we get started here um, if you're soldering thick wire which I'm soldering 12 gauge wire you want to use a large tip on your soldering iron you want your iron to be between 500 and 700 degrees Fahrenheit uh, likely a soldering station is the best option however you can use other uh, soldering irons as long as they have enough wattage now you should clean your soldering tip every time you solder however I didn't hear when I clean it again here it will transfer that heat properly and you'll see that solder just go right on there I set my wires horizontal because when the solder melts I do not want it dripping down inside the uh, the, the jacket of the wire um, and uh, just another thing about soldering you want to use enough to cover the wire however you do you want to still be able to see the texture of the strand now that I've tinned the wires on the w first side I flip them over and tin them and it's much quicker uh, on the other side because it's got fresh solder on it um, that's important you want an oxygen free covering of the solder um, not too much remember you want to see the texture of the wire now we'll tin the other side of these wires that I already tinned the first side. Uh, the one thing that I found is I tend to over solder and I think that's probably pretty common with people. So go light on the solder. You only need a little bit. Uh, so we'll just tin this. And remember, soldering is a skill. Uh, you gotta get used to your equipment um, and get some technique down uh, to really start doing well at soldering. So we'll set these down, put the helping hands away, and we'll bring out the jig, and we're gonna tin. These are uh, Traxxas connectors, uh, really just a solid copper piece. We're gonna tin these. Uh, you wanna tin your soldering iron a little bit. Make sure that touches that. You wanna add a little bit more so you get a good heat transfer. And with these connectors, you really wanna put a very little amount, and you'll see why later. Um, I put a little extra and uh, I ran into some, some issues. You might have noticed that I didn't clean in between my soldering with those uh, tinning of those connectors. However, sometimes you can get away with it uh, if, they're, if it's a light soldering job, but wires and really most anything, you really should try and clean the tip, retin it every time you solder. And now you just witnessed me touching my oily thumb on those connectors. I'm not really that concerned about it uh, because these are just charging leads and um, I'm not too worried about the ultimate lowest internal resistance with these solder joints. So I've slowed this down so you can get just a little better uh, understanding of exactly how I hit the soldering iron, touch the connector, put a little bit in between so that the heat flows right onto that and makes the soldering quick, easy, oxygen free. As you can see in the moment, I actually hit this again with more solder, which actually was a mistake. I did not need that extra solder on there, which I find is the habit that people fall into. So pull back, because the purpose of solder is to connect the wire to the connector or lead or whatever you're connecting it to. Um, although solder does transfer electricity, it creates resistance. So using the least amount possible, getting the most direct connection with the raw wire and the connector is always optimum. If you notice, I just cleaned my tip, I did a fresh tin, and I'm heating the wire to melt to the connector. 
you want to touch the wire. You want the wire to heat and to heat the rest of the solder below. And actually solder will go towards heat. So hopefully any additional solder will pull towards the wire and the actual connection. And as you can see, this does not take very long. Uh, I didn't add any extra solder, just the tinning of the wire and the tinning of the connector and a little bit on the soldering tip to transfer heat uh, gives a nice solid oxygen free connection. Now we'll just kind of look at this, rotate this a bit so you can see that really the wire is connected to the connector and there is solder holding that together but there's not a lot and it has a very solid connection. Now you can see I have some excess solder on the back end of that connector and in fact the Traxxas connectors are actually quite finicky with any additional solder there. Uh, they don't use shrink wrap, they go right into the housing and so any additional solder will create an issue for you of actually you getting it in the connector housing. So I pre-tinned these and realized that I had put too much solder on these. So what I'm doing is I'm heating it and wiping on my uh, sponge that has my wet sponge and just trying to remove um, a little bit at a time. And it's okay if there's a little excess. Um, I'll show you how we can kind of remove some of that later as well if we feel like we have too much. So we'll set this next one in the jig and just for practice we will clean the soldering tip, tin it with solder, and solder the wire to the connector. Remember to heat the wire to melt the solder that was tinned on the connector and it will join and hold it in place while it sets. And you can do it a couple times. These are a little easier to solder right off the bat versus those XT90s over there. If those XT90s, if those uh, leads get too hot, that housing will melt and you'll just ruin your connector. So let's get this other one in here. Again, same process. Clean with a wet sponge, tin it a little so you get the proper heat transfer and press down with some solid force and hold that wire in place while that solder sets. Okay, and we will pull this out and see how we did. This one looks pretty good. I'm liking the way that uh, bond is. It's not really a lot of excess solder on there. This red lead, I am not that happy with the amount of solder on the back of that. I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of that off with a completely clean uh, soldering tip and just kind of lightly coat it. Oh, whoops. Well, that will happen. So we will have to uh, redo this one. So it actually maybe looks even a little bit worse, um, but we're going to go with this anyway. Um, hopefully I can jam it in the connector, um, but really just wanted to show you good solid soldering techniques.